Hello, very warm welcome. Today I wanna talk about a topic that has been dear uh, to my heart. It has been boiling inside of me and I wanted to get it out. And I must admit, I felt uh, a little bit cautious uh, about talking about this topic because it is highly delicate. And I was literally concerned what will other people think about if I talk about this topic. Uh, there, is a lot, there are a lot of emotions and a lot of viewpoints on this topic. And it is about the war in the Ukraine. And uh, people probably would advise me and say, Alex, you're an industry expert, you're a healthcare expert. Why do you want to talk about this topic? Why risk it? Why put forward certain views? And my answer is because I care about people. I love the Ukrainian people. I love the Russian people. I have been on charity projects in Russian speaking countries. I have served both in the Ukraine and in Russia. I have engaged with many, many people all over the Russian speaking world. I have talked to young people, to uh, homeless people, to alcoholics, to drug addicts in my free time during my vacation in between client projects. I spent this time in sometimes quite risky situations, even going to the Ukrainian war zone, zone in 2018 and being in the trenches with soldiers and talking with them. So uh, that I want to share. So uh, to make my motives clear when I talk about this topic. Another topic I want to point out. Uh, you know, there are so many uh, opinions and informations out about Russia, Ukraine, about the situation uh, often issued from people who have limited or no understanding, who have never been to this part of the world and suddenly are advisors to politicians or people who have been reading on information but never understood the Russian soul, the Ukrainian soul. And what do, my, what do I mean by that? I strongly believe is you only understand a person's motives, heart and character if you spend significant of time engaging with the people, talking with them in numerous situations, understanding not only what they say, but why they say, it, how they feel about topics and what is also a key issue is learning the language because uh, I always believe if you spend the necessary time to uh, understand the language, you earn a right to have an opinion. And unfortunately in this Ukrainian war, there are so many politicians and so many people who have never set foot on the ground in the Ukraine or Russia and suddenly have an opinion upon, upon things. And this is very dangerous. And what I've even observed engaging with people, uh, advising politicians, no clue, very limited information, very limited understanding, preconceived ideas, just stereotypes and even wrong facts, basic facts that people could read up and could make themselves knowledgeable. So I wanted to spend the time to talk about what are the, uh, is, what is the situation in the Ukraine and in Russia, and I want to put forward a viewpoint. This war was totally unavoidable and it is a result predominantly due to a lack of basic com uh, communication. So what a lot of things have gone wrong here and they have been going wrong for a numerous years. And this is why I have put together, uh, together this video series and I want to explain you and share with you my viewpoints. And if you think, well, Alex, uh, I really don't care about the Ukrainian war. Why would I care? It may cause a third world war. Um, this war is in Europe. I'm in China. I'm in a different part of the world. How does it affect me? Point taken. There are many issues that are daily affecting our lives, concern us. What I want to do is actually not just talk about the war because it has been in the media already enough bias, but enough. Um, I want to drill out viewpoints that we can learn for business communication. What can we learn? What are key principles of communication 
and how can we better engage with people in business settings and even in personal lives. So if that has wet your appetite, so to speak, then I invite you to check out my uh, three other uh, uh, videos on this topic. I've broken it down into three parts. And also here I share with you my personal information. So if you want to connect with me through WeChat, through LinkedIn, over 23,000 people on LinkedIn, business professionals, leaders and experts are following me, my thoughts, my viewpoint, then I warmly invite you uh, to connect with me. And if you have any questions on business settings, communications, uh, leadership issues, uh, then reach out to me and let's see how we could potentially work together. I look forward to talking with you in the next video sessions.